Yo, what is going on, guys? Hutcho322 here, and today, guys, I am back bringing you guys another ASL video. And today, guys, we are doing, or we are going to be um, watching the replay of the match against Ghost in the Keldeo Hub Resolutes for ASL Season 3, Week 3. And yeah, this is this is a very long match, I will say that now. And it's a very good match though, very, very close. And um before um we get it before we get into the video, I strongly encourage you to go check out the team builder that was uploaded yesterday. Uh it'll be in the description down below, and if you're in the description you're pretty close to the like button and to the subscribe button. So if you would please like and subscribe down below if you haven't already that would be awesome so anyways let's hop into this so like i said the team builder will show you all the sets that i'm bringing but yeah at first glance uh, he brings all of his a tier mons minus buzz wool plus a selgor and so i told you guys in the team builder if i see a selgor i am leading skun tank i don't want to get spike stacked so that is exactly what I do, and I don't. I he leads Zygarde 10%. So we're already off to a bad start. I go to my Hippowdon though, and uh, I get glared, which is actually kind of interesting. I didn't even know this thing got glare. So I just want to set up my Stealth Rocks, knowing it can't really do anything to me. And I go to my Vaporeon. My Vaporeon is a free swap into like a Blastoise every single time. It can't do anything to me, and he's gonna swap out. He's gonna go to Zapdos as I land a Toxic on Zapdos, which is so nice. Putting this thing on a timer, and Zapdos is gonna stay Toxic for the remainder of the, of the game. So Rotom is gonna come in and take a U-turn since he actually didn't bring Swellow, which is actually kind of insane. So my Rotom is more useless than normal, um, but it can still put in work. So Darmanitan is gonna do Flare Blitz, does nothing. I just get I get to throw a Wish in the air every time Darmanitan comes in. I'm going to go to my Rotom here, take a Discharge, so I figure out he's discharging on Thunderbolt, which is amazing for my team, because then Vaporeon can actually take it on decently. So Jirachi's going to come in on the Blizzard, so nice little prediction there. Yeah, I just go right into my Deblade, I don't even think about it, it's because Shadow Claw's going to do so much, but he goes into Zapdos, uh, which is fine. I get staticked first freaking time, so that's kind of annoying. But it's the same chance of Scalds burning, but you're going to see I hardly get Scalds to burn. <laughs> this is kind of annoying. I go into my Rotom. I actually Blizzard again here. And he goes straight into Zydoge. Crit did not matter. Not on any universe. We're going to get rid of Zydoge. So, huge play right there. He probably thought I was going to Volt Switch predicting Jirachi, but frankly, I didn't care. He's got superpower. Uh, I can take it because he gets the attack drop. So, I just throw a Wish in the air. And I believe I just protect here because HP on Vaporeon is so, so important. Just because this thing is literally winning me the match. Like, in the first 16 turns, I've uh, got intel that he has no way to touch my Vaporeon by any, with any Pokemon. Vaporeon just sits on the field. So Blastoise is going to come in here, forces out Hippo every single time. I go into my Vaporeon, he's going to go with the Dragon Tail. So nice little tech. Gets me into Victini. And, um, this, this is a, I don't think it's a roll to kill, so I'm just going to go for the Electrium Z, we're going to see if it kills, and it does. So Blastoise is down and out, and so Victini pressures his entire team, so Z move well used. That's exactly what I've wanted to have happen. So, so far everything in this match has gone according to plan. He's getting over the energy ball uh, and hit me really hard. I go over the stealth rock though, just because he has no more uh, hazard removal. Um, I'm actually going to make a pretty dumb play here. I'm going to defog here on his bug buzz. Or I'm actually going to crunch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I crunch. Because I thought it would kill. He's getting over the spike and then I defog. So I guess putting up stealth rocks was kind of a useless turn. But it's like kind of what else would I would have done. I could have Earthquake so that the Crunch would have killed. But I just thought Stealth Rocks at the time were more useful. But out comes Darmanitan. Uh, Darmanitan. I'm going to go sack on my Hippowdon. Uh, I don't really want Vaporeon to get crit for some dumb reason when Hippowdon's literally dead slack. 
It's just death fodder. Oh, I've forgot to update the layout. Hold up. Because I think I'm going to actually try and do this. So, um... Vaporeon is going to take a wish. Uh, Jirachi is going to pass a wish into Zapdos. So Zapdos is sitting pretty. Oh, no, he didn't pass a wish. Never mind. Uh, Zapdos is going to go for the roost on my wish. So good prediction. Good, good prediction. I get to just sit here, though, and just scald away. And I don't get the first Scald burn, which is annoying. He's going to be Wish Rachi. I'm going to Scald again. Do I get the burn? Yes. So, very nice. Jirachi is effectively useless unless he's physical, or special, I mean. He's going to go over the U-turn, probably going to Zapdos, as he does go into Zapdos. Takes the Wish. And I go to Rotom on the Zapdos almost every time. Rotom's switch-ins are limited. He's gonna go to Jirachi as I go for the trick. So I'm 100% fine with that. Since he's Wish Rachi. I thought he would either stay in or go to Jirachi. And I was like, oh, this is Wish Rachi. Let me just trick. Because either way, we're good. So he's gonna be forced to do that. I I thought he would uh, go into Zapdos on the Shadow Ball. That made the most sense to me because his Jirachi is still useful. But he actually just stayed in and take the Blizzard and lived, which was really annoying, but that's what over predictions get you. Uh, I'm going to miss the blizzard now when it actually matters, and he's going to go for the heat wave and do heaps of damage to me. And Zapdos is going to go into Darmanitan. I'm going to miss that blizzard, which is annoying, but it's ultimately not going to matter because Darmanitan's frail, and my Rotom is going to go ahead and drop to Darmanitan. So we're tied at a 4-4 here. And uh, Aporeon can just wish up on Jirachi all day. It does not care. Um, and I can actually stall him out because I have Protect as well. And he's locked into Wish. Yeah, I'm going to Scald just miss out on the KO, which would have been such a nice KO. Because this thing is proving to be very, very annoying. He's actually going to switch out here into Zapdos. Zapdos doesn't care about my Scalds for the most part. Especially with the Wish support. And he's getting over the discharge here. And here's when I'm like, oh my god, this does nothing. I could just wish protect all day on this thing. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and go for the protect, I believe. Yes, I do go for the protect. So um, he's going to energy ball me. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to scald this thing. Get it out. out. And uh, it's going to die to its own life orb. So I throw a wish in the air. Uh, props to me. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to protect because again Vaporeon is so so useful in this match I really have to play it correctly and I'm gonna go into my skun tank I really did just sack it off because um, uh, just because it doesn't really do anything in the match like yes it could defog but on what it doesn't have speed anything it's just death fodder uh, I, then I bring out Victini and I go for the flame charge here uh, which doesn't pick up a on, it doesn't pick up the KO. Uh, Vaporeon is actually going to pick up that KO. But uh, I actually don't have anything to touch this Darmanitan except for Thunder. And I'm not risking my Victini. I'm not risking a differential point on Thunder. Oh, I forgot to take Skun Tank off. Okay, but yeah, I'm not risking a differential point on Thunder. So I just decide, you know what? Sonny's a fair switch in. Since I forced him to go for Earthquake, it's going to do a lot less than Super Power. So Zapdos is going to go for the Discharge, it's through like 50. Oh, excuse me. So, I just protect up here. Because I put him in a spot where he has to stay into Zapdos. And I think I just Scald here because I'm not letting Darmanitan come in for free. Well, it doesn't matter what I went for because I'm paralyzed. So, um, I think I throw a Wish in the air. Or no, 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 I just switch out. I go to the Blade. As he discharges me and he gets toxic and dies, so that uh, kill goes to Vaporeon. Uh, I'm going to go for the Shadow Sneak and get a crit. I'm not sure if that crit ultimately mattered. But um, the Blade is going to be able to pick up the final kill. He had to lock himself into Earthquake just because of Victini still, be still being there and Vaporeon. So that is going to be the game, guys. Uh, so we are going to improve to 2-1 and one as we pick up a 3-0 victory. And now our differential is like plus 4 or something. As Ghost is going to unfortunately fall to 0-3.
But yeah, um, the Piran was very, very, very important in this match. It picked up two kills. Uh, Victini picked up one. DeBlade picked up one. Rotom picked up one. And then Hippo. And then Assault Gore killed itself, yeah. To Life Orb. So yeah, it was, it was a pretty solid game. Um, misplays. Hmm. Maybe on the hip out on setting up rocks is like the only thing that I can think of, but like at the time that was 100% the play. Because, yeah, I I think I don't really know where I messed up. I guess the over prediction on the Rachi where I clicked Blizzard instead of clicking Shadow Ball, that was uh that was unfortunate with the misprediction there, but or the over prediction. But yeah, that's about it. Uh, we played pretty well this week. Uh, so did Ghost. It's just Zapdos was too pressured in this week. So thank you, Ghost, for the match. And uh, I would say go check out Ghost down below. But Ghost doesn't have a YouTube channel. But anyways, it was a fun battle. And I look forward to battles in the future. And thank you guys for watching. Uh, this was ASL Season 3, the Week 3 match. And your Portland Timbers are now 2-1. The plus 4 differentials. So thank you guys for checking out the video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Oh, yeah. Please like and subscribe down below. Goodbye.